Hello, welcome pen friends. Uh, this was a really exciting day for me um, because these dip pens came in. These are the Sailor Hokoro dip pens and I got three of them. I ordered them from Yoseka Stationery. I just love that store um, and I love their YouTube channel too. It's too bad I didn't watch <laughs> the video first on these. I just, when I heard about them, I, uh, I knew I wanted to try them no questions asked. I wanted to try them. But then later, um, I found out after I'd ordered, I, I found out that, uh, some of them come with a feed and some don't, but I think I would like a feed for each one. So anyway, I've ordered the, the feed units for $3. So I've, I've done that so that later, um, I will have that even for the ones, the fine nib that doesn't need it. Oh boy, I sure did jump in, <laughs> jump in uh, uh, ahead of myself here. But what I wanted to do was, this will be a first impressions. I have not put ink on any of these yet. I've just been examining them, looking at them, trying it out. And uh, so I'm just going to show you and then we're going to get in my ink journal. I've got all the inks on my desks that are, that are uh, you know, floating around. I've got some sailor ink, pilot ink, all the ones that I'm inked up with, uh, for this month they're, are sitting here on this little thing so we've got everything we need water paper towels everything but uh this is neat uh and if you, you know, maybe i'm the last person who you know has gotten one of these because they've been out for over a year but that's kind of how it works it takes a while to get into the shops that you know we can get them here in the United States and then they sell out immediately and then you kind of keep checking back and waiting <laughs> and then you know when the pen allowance matches the the stock or the ad money is there when this they have it in stock then there I go so <laughs> but I wanted to show you I think this one is the fine nib yeah this one here is the one with the fine nib and uh this is how it works you just pull the little nib unit out and then there's only one way to put it in because it has a a little flat portion here and you just pop it in I don't know did you hear that let me do it again and be quiet it just you know it has a very satisfying little pop and yet it's easy even with my uh, <laughs> my fingers to to get that out so that's the fine one and it doesn't come my ring is probably gonna fall off uh, it doesn't come with the feed like the uh, 2.0 millimeter one comes with a little feed. So um, knowing me, how much I like to try new inks and, and just on the fly, I like to write with a, a specific ink to a specific pen friend. And I'm kind of restricted to the eight that I have, unless I want to ink up my serendipity and use quite a bit more ink. And then it's a little bit, it's not just swirling it around. I do pull the nib and feed every time with that one. I love that pen, but this would be really nice and quick. And so that's what I, I have my thoughts on is that I would use these for is to try and, you know, to show someone an ink. Um, a lot of times somebody, one of my pen pals will ask me or say, I'm looking for a magenta and I could literally try an ink with, uh, three different nibs, uh, for them right in the middle of the pen pal letter. And, you know, I love to do stuff like that. So, but this is the packaging. They just come in a simple little box with, um, it has some papers but uh i think it's all in, in japanese but that's okay um oh there's another paper too i probably lost that paper for that one i have them all out but <laughs> i think there was another small paper at least one of them had a small paper maybe i'm just going batty here nope there it is stuck down in there i wonder what that is okay i gotta get it out because i wanted to show you but <laughs> Oh, now it's going out the other end. Okay, it won't do us too much good, I think, but that's okay. It will for anyone who can read it, that, you know, that uh, reads. Um, oh, that was the other thing I was going to tell you. So I couldn't find the Fude one, which is the one I wanted the most. So I ordered that on Amazon. That's coming from far, far away. So <laughs> I'll have to wait longer. But I wasn't like in any mood to not get a Fude one because I just love that nib. And I thought that was going to be great. And I'd have one of each. So, And you can get just the nib units. Um, that's kind of not how I play, though. Especially knowing that I could... Uh, 
you know, uh, tuck these in and basically essentially cap them by doing that. I really want to be able to just go crazy at my ink desk. So, okay, let's try that because we've got fine 1.0 and 2.0. So let's just try it. It's the first time for me too, so I'm bringing you along. <laughs> I've got my ink journal, Tomoy River Paper, which is where I like to start everything. Oops, there's some pages. Uh, okay, let's see. Put my water over here. And we're just going to dive right in, I think. I guess we'll start with the fine nib one. Keeping in mind that probably I'll come back and do a little bit of an update later because I, I I just, I noticed how she had the feed in or put the feed in to compare it. And I really liked getting, you know, that idea of getting more uh, writing. Um, and when we get done doing this, we'll do a, a couple just comparisons, you know, just discuss some of the other options that I have at, at my desk to use. Let's see, what are we going to do? How about a sailor ink? I'm using uh, Sailor Louisiana in uh, uh, Lamy this month, so we might as well use this and try it and see how it kind of compares in these dip pens. Let's see. I hope I don't have any kind of disaster. Um, I, the cats are sleeping. They've already eaten, so... Huh. Okay. Now, I don't know. Um, it's always something when you first start with a dip pen. Let's get a little bit of a... A little bit closer. Okay, we'll try that. So let's see if I can spell this right. Sailor. <laughs> that is a nice fine nib. Okay, and that that experience where the ink starts to fade away, um, that's what I found with the pilot one. You know, it it's uh, it takes a little bit of a, a trick. This is the Pilot Eura something. <laughs> I, I reviewed it or I did an early impressions. Uh, but the ink does kind of wear out quick. See, see, we're all done. So let's dip again and maybe I'll I'll do a little better job of not, uh, you know, getting rid of the ink so quickly. Whoops. Okay, I went in a little further. Um, this is the fine nib. And I think these retail $16. I think that's the basic price. Um, dip pen. Okay, let me just kind of... Okay, I did a little bit better job of, of not uh, flicking off the ink that time. and But still, I'm, that's why I want the feed. I, I want the feeds in all of them. Uh, and we'll, uh, when we get to that one... Um, they say they put the feed in the 2.0 and in the Food A one. So when that one comes, whoops, I've got stuff all over the desk. Uh, these two, the, the 2.0 and the Food A will already have one. And so I went and I ordered two, one for the 1.0 and one for the fine nib. I just, I want the feeds, that's all. Okay, so there's that one. And let's see what happens when we... <laughs> okay. The way she showed it, you just kind of swirl it around and uh, just like you do with the pilot one and then uh, dry it off. Okay, it only had just a tiny bit of ink there. Whoops. I hope I'm not making you seasick. Okay. And we'll put this one aside and start with, well, let's take the one with the feed. Let's take the 2.0 and see how that does. That's going to be different. Uh, <laughs> I've never written with a dip pen that was like that. So we'll put it, dip it right in there. I, I usually get carried away with the dipping. That's why I... <laughs> okay, but this is, like I said, this is just me, the very first ink to the pen. Okay, and this is also Sailor. Ooh, that's like a Lamy 1.5. Two point zero, huh? Two point zero. Ooh. Okay, this is a different experience. 
because it has that feed. So, and this is, I mean, this is a, these, these kind of nibs, uh, calligraphy nib with that uh, wide of a nib, you know how that is. Let's see how long we get away with. Oh my goodness. You could actually sit around writing pen pal letters with this and just go crazy using every ink you wanted to use. This may be more than just a, oh, here's this color and here's this nib. Um, you know, I, I used to do calligraphy, but that was when I was younger. And <laughs> I don't know. I, I really, I don't anymore, but it, it's something that if I can slow myself down for it, my goodness, it's like how many, <laughs> how many licks does it take to get to the middle of a Tootsie Pop? Wow. Okay, so I'm excited because I'm thinking about how that'll be with the medium. I mean, no, the fine one. I, I mean, that will come in hopefully as quick as these came. Um, and I'm going to put it right on there. Yeah, because I like that. I like being able to get a lot. Wow, I just, this is nuts. Okay, I, <laughs> I'm going to run out of time before I run out of ink. Oh, gosh, it's pretty. Oh, I guess what I can do is write the ink because I didn't bother to do that. This is Sailor. Uh, 50 States. This is one of my favorite inks. Louisiana. Ah. Yes. Louisiana. Woo. Okay. So uh, and this is what we're doing for all of them. So I might as well just decorate a little. Oh, I am not sorry about this purchase. Oh my goodness. Huh. It just goes forever with a 2.0 nib. Who's going to give up first, the ink or is Chris going to swirl it around? Whoops, <laughs> I'm even out of your frame. Um, this is not really impressive writing, but it's impressive that one fairly good dip is, is like the Energizer Bunny here. I, I wouldn't believe it if I wasn't seeing it right in, right in front of my eyes. Huh. Oh, dear. I hope I'm not like destroying the other one. Yeah, the vibrant pink. That was the Sailor 50 States. Um, on the other side, oh dear. Um, this is in the Lamy uh, 1.5, and that'll be part of the report card, so we won't linger there too long. Well, I guess if I'm going to do the other one at all, the one without the feed that has the 1.0, I'm going to have to give up first, because this is not going to stop. <laughs> huh. Okay, it's starting to starting to dry out. Okay, okay, I think. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so that's how far it was, um, you know, the lion's share of an A5 uh, page. So that's pretty good. Okay, now we can, now I know I'm not going to waste it. And I'm just go ahead and do that. And then we'll do the other one. Oh, this is like a new pen day, <laughs> big excitement. Half the floor is almost done, so yay. Okay, so now uh, we're going to try the um, 1.0 that doesn't have the feed, which it will because I, <laughs> you know, I learned my lesson there and I went ahead and, and ordered the feed um, because that's really what, I, when I saw her video, um, uh, as soon as I opened these, I went and watched her video. I, I don't know why I got, you know, the order of events so backwards, but that's what I did. I saw these this somewhere else, maybe in somebody's video, and I knew I wanted them no matter what, but I didn't, I didn't stop and pay attention to the feed aspect. So hopefully uh, this video of mine will save someone else that, that awkwardness. Okay. I guess I probably should start at the top of the other page because it's just going to end up being, and I believe we can cap this for now. 
minutes before we have a disaster. Okay, I don't know. I never know with dip pans whether to just leave everything that got there. Let's just leave it on and see what happens. Okay, so we're talking. Oh, I like this size. This this is nice. This is like a 0 0.8 um, Nemesine. Um, Oh, that's, that's really more comfortable for writing. Like the 2.0 is, you know, for practicing calligraphy, I think. Okay, so um, 1.0. Okay, so there we go. We're fading. Can you see that? No, because I don't have it. We're fading. Let's see how much more we can get. Yeah, the the feed is the key. The feed are the feeds are three dollars for the ones that don't come with it, and according to Yoseka, the ones that come with it are the uh, two point zero and the food a. So my food a that's coming will have one, <clears throat> and I just showed you the the two point zero had whoops had one oh my really like to have focus wherever possible. Yeah, so I'm going to use these all the time. They're going to stay on my pen desk in a little, probably in a, in a tiny little uh, uh, pen. What do you call those things? I was going to say pen pot, but that's not, that's not exactly the words that I'm looking for. Um, uh, cup, like a pen cup. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's Let's just put this away, and I'll uh, I'll pull over some of the other dip pens just to, for a discussion because uh, this is a quest and this is an area that I'm so interested in. Anyway, and uh, these are going to be fun. But before I get to rolling everything around, I'm going to put those. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll take a look. So there was a little bit of uh, water down in the barrel. So it'd be nice to get that tapped out a little before I put it away. And then I'm just gonna, yeah, just gonna cap it. <laughs> I just love that, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so here's the next one. Okay, the next one might need a little bit of extra swirl there. Oh, these come in gray and in the white, but I just like, I like the looks of the white ones better. I'll probably get them all dirty and stained up, but <clears throat> hopefully not. Yeah, so I'll just, you know, reasonably, I'll probably take them over to the sink. Really, to be honest, uh, if I wasn't over here doing this, I'd take these to the sink and just rinse them really good. But I can do that later. I want to uh, just make sure I don't injure the nibs in any way while I'm talking about other things. Yeah, that's no big deal, though. They come clean. I just like to really rinse well, so I'll, I'll do it at the sink. All right, okay. So now, well, let's not go too far. Uh, so the thing with uh, dip pans in general, for me, has been I want them to work real easily, and I find that the one with the feed does on these and uh, this one works really well. The, this is that pilot. Oh, oh, here's the name. Euro Yusuchi. Uh, now I can't say it right. Uh, this is a medium nib, a very nice medium nib. And it does really well, but you have to make sure you keep enough of the ink on there and you have to re-dip a lot. But it's still, it was really nice for doing these. The coloring. And being able to write in the color that you're doing, which I didn't, oh, I don't always do, but like this one, I use this. I know because that was one of my most recent ones. Let's see. I may have, I must have done the toolbar one too, because I just do it with black if I don't have a dip pen. That you know, I don't like using the glass pen. Oh, that's another pen to, that we could talk about too, just for a comparison. Um, so I like this, and this isn't going anywhere. Um, I'm not sure I'm crazy about this little cap thing, but, but it, it does keep it safe. So maybe people have found something better, you know, for keeping it safe. I haven't. Um, and then, of course, I like these. Uh, this is just a... Well, actually, this was a gift. 
and I'm, I'm trying to read that. I don't know, can't read the name on it. But it's this is a Speedball C4, and I really, really like that. They do kind of rust, and that's probably my fault for not completely drying them up enough. But they're nice. They hold a lot of ink, and they do good. I can't write with the automatic pen to save my life. I can just barely make it glop ink onto the page. But that's practice and slowing down, I guess. But I don't think that's ever going to happen, so... I'm not so sure. And then, of course, I love my serendipities. I have the full-sized one. It's a hybrid, and it's got, and I've got the mini. It's got the feed, just like a fountain pen and a little reservoir. But that's a serious amount of, you can get three A5 pages with this. And, and that's a little bit more than just an experimental and uh, quickly showing a, a, an ink color. So um, I tend to use that to, to journal with a different color that I don't maybe want to, maybe I'm narrowing down which one to ink up, you know, and also you can tra change these so easily. They're number six nibs. So I love it. I wouldn't, would never uh, stop using this one. Um, and then the glass nib, the, that also has its place. I love it, but I'm petrified of breaking it. So far, I've been okay, but I broke a really expensive and nice one that I had one from Inky Rocks. So, well, I didn't break it. Coco did, but it was still, it's my responsibility. My cat, like, real quickly knocked it down and, and it broke the nib. And I was, well, it broke the nib right off the pen. And I was so bummed. But uh, this one probably has a better chance because it's almost always capped. So this is the Moon Man mini one. But it, this puts down so much ink that you're not getting a real realistic look at what it would look like coming out of a fountain pen nib. So I'm um, really thrilled to have these join the uh, arsenal of <laughs> tools, but I think they're going to end up being the ones I use all the time because that's so quick and simple and easy and uh, to know they're not going to break. I mean, I could take these anywhere. I could take them to the Half Price Bookstore in their little cafe and, uh, you know, take a couple of samples and a little tiny a jar of water with a, you know, lid on it, and I could just sketch and do things or write. And, oh, I just, yeah. So because that level of, of enthusiasm hit me, um, even before writing with it, just seeing it on her video and see somebody else, I don't know which video it was I saw that, that, that made me press, you know, order, but I knew immediately that these were going to be the ones that, uh, that would, um, that they would somehow, uh, be so good being able to protect the nib, but the, the feed aspect, I didn't fully understand. Let's see, which color is the, yeah, the green one is the one that has... Oh, the little feed. Yeah, like I said, I need to take it over to the um, sink and just do a good rinsing. Because uh, that Sailor Louisiana is quite uh, hardy. And with a little bit of water kind of mixing in. Let's see if I can show you. It's just a little bit in there. It doesn't bother me. It's just that I'd like to do a better job at rinsing it. <laughs> I probably made it worse by sticking it back in the water. It's not going to be a problem, though. I'm going to take it to the sink. So that this is a first impression, but it could also be a review. It doesn't, you know, it'll give you, if you don't hadn't heard of them at all, it'll give you a lot of information. And uh, maybe it'll save you if you are ordering uh, and you would like to have a feed. It's a lot cheaper to order <laughs> at the same time, the $3 feed. So um, hopefully that'll be good for you. And let me know what you think. Uh, what are your favorite dip pens? I'm always, always very tempted by dip pens because I, I deal with so many samples that I want to try out. And I have pen friends who are like me that are, are way more into the inks than pens. And so lots of times I'll be so lazy though and I, I don't want to like ink a whole nother pen. But I, I do. I quite often I do just to show, you know, what it looks like with a, um, you know, 1.1 1. Uh, 1 nib um, in, in this ink or whatever. So this is going to give a lot of options. I mean, they're so portable. I guess, you know, if it were a real review, I'd be measuring it. Let me get a... just is is a little cutie <laughs> a little petite pen okay I'm getting just
just a little more than four and a half. It's one, two, three, four, five, four and five eighths, but let's do it the other way. Let's do the, the metric. So it's almost 12 centimeters, almost. It's 110, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 117 millimeters when it's capped like that. <clears throat> That's pretty neat. And then the nib just adds on just a little bit. So that makes it about 135 millimeters or uh, 13 and a half centimeters. And then uh, for inches with the nib, that makes it five and a quarter approximately. And um, did I already do that? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> probably. <laughs> 135 millimeters. Okay, I think I'm just rambling now, but uh, hopefully this was useful to you. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And I will come. I will update you definitely when I get the feed for the fine one. See, the fine one is blue. I like that they're color coded. Eventually, I'll remember which is which. And uh, I can't wait for the food A one to come in because that's one of my favorite nibs to to really show the inks. It's just amazing, the uh, Black Forest uh, pen that I have with the Fude nib. So I'm going to let you go for now. It's kind of getting dark and late, and that's when I start not not really, uh, you know, being good for much except maybe reading and, and bullet journaling for uh, tomorrow's uh, what to do, what, what I need to do tomorrow. So I'll see you on the next video, which will be the progress report. Bye for now.